so to visit the website for Clyde e-learning enter e-clyde.com if you are an existing user then you enter your username and password and you can log in if you are not an existing user you can register from here and fill the mandatory field required here and then at the end accept the policy and say register but now we are going to log in through the existing user you can either log in with the help of Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Gmail so I'm going to enter my username here and I'm going to log in with my credential I say login once I log in I see all the course categories available here through which I can browse and see which course I want to buy or I am enrolled in here is a user profile you can update your user profile you can change the photo and you can see your register email ID and other credential I click on my course moment I click on my course I see all the courses where I am enrolled first we will see the course category as I said these are the courses which is available you can browse through any of the course category like I said confined space you can read the course what is the offering in the course what are the learning objective in the course how many units are there in the course the prerequisite about the course and the certification I can go through any course and I can see the course content and I can go through the course unit and the prerequisite regarding the course if I press eClide, eClide is a courses where all the courses where I am enrolled are available which I can start anytime there is a course communication where any announcement which has been made is available in the communication and you can read like here it is a webinar which is going to be on 14th Jan so you can register this webinar and you can attend this webinar there is a certification once you complete the course you will get a certificate if I say download the certificate the certificate is download here and if I want to see I can see this is how the course certification will look like it will have the course completion about to your name the course name and the date on which you have completed the course this is exactly the certificate will look like competencies after completing the course you will be getting some competencies so a competency is written here safety procedure regulation and inspection at the development level it is the knowledge which you have gained through one of the course the score is mentioned here and the date of completion is mentioned here in that you can activate the course if you have a course code you can activate the course from here you can directly send and the course will be activated in the my course there is a message tab whatever you have received any message will appear here you can also send the message from here just click the send button and you can see the mail which you have sent to anybody you can also send the email from here to anybody whosoever you want to send just press send and you will see the mail which you have sent to anybody this is a help desk if you have any problem you can write the mail like course project query 
write your phone number and write the test I have written a query, new query for the project, how to submit the case study and I say confirm, the mail is automatically sent to the admin, you will get a revert in your mailbox. Now again we are going to my course, I want to say, I want to start the confined space program which I am already enrolled into, I click on confined space course, moment I click it will enter into the confined space module. Here you can see there is an announcement which has been already given what you need to do in the course, how you will be going through the course and what are the rules and regulations in the course. Once you say move to achieve that means you have read this, you just press move to achieve and it has been registered in the history you have already read. Now there is no announcement which you have not read. Introduction about the course, what you have seen before buying the course, the entire course introduction is available here which is the offering in the course and there are course document and you need to press the e-client and you will see certain tabs here. This is the safety, confined space safety manual then frequently asked question regarding the confined space, then this is the e-learning, then there is a question bank and then there is a final test. You can see the right button here, greens means you have completed this course, yellow means the course is still going on, you have not completed the course, moment you complete the course it will turn into green. Then there are notes option, you can create your own notes to register here so that you should not forget, I write confined space notes, I write entry, entry permit, should be placed at the place of work area and I say insert. So now confined space note is registered in your, so whenever you visit you will see your own notes area. Then there is a reservation module, there is a webinar which is going to be held on 14th of Jan, you have already registered for it, you can cancel from here, you can see my registration. So you have registered for this webinar so you will be attending the webinar which will start at 10 o'clock in the morning and it will end at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Number of registered users you can see out of 25, 5 have registered. Any pass event you can see here, there is no pass event for you now. So you can register the webinars from here, whenever there is a new webinar it will be appearing here and now you will have to just say enroll for the webinar. Once you enroll then you will get a cancellation tab. Now there is a report card, whatever question have you appeared, you will see the result of it. This is a question bank where the you have appeared for the question and it has been given to you the right and the wrong answer and the correct answer is given here. This test is only for the practice so that you appear for the final test. When I again click, you can see all the reports or the, core or the score of your examination here. And there is a calendar here, you can write anything or you can keep writing here saying that I want to maybe any event you want to remember, you can note it here and it will be displayed here. This is the total progress of the course, 
which is shown here if you click this down arrow you see the session time you have spent on the course the total timing 9 hours 41 minutes you are the user who are logged in there is another user who is logged in again because the online user is one available there are five object after the uh, out of that five you have completed four one is incomplete there are one two test which you have passed and the final test is remaining so now there is one more area called collaborative area and there is a project management here if you click the project management you will see the news project completion rule dear student please read the case study in the to do area and submit your answer ask in the case study at the end the project should be completed before you take the test so as to get the final score so before going for the final test you will have to complete the project and the project case study in this to do area you read this case study and there are questions which are asked at the end of it what are the contributing factors for the incident please submit the control measure so as to such incident should not takes place again after reading the case study go back and there is a internal message you write here your answer to case 1 and you write first question what are the contributing factors for incident 1 lack of knowledge to no safety tool talk conducted 3 work permit was not issued so likewise you can write the answer or you can choose a file and you can upload the file from your desktop and you can just simply select the file it appears here and you have to just send you can upload the file and this is how you can submit the answer to the case study once the case study is uploaded you will get the remarks by pressing undo you are not submitting the answer you can again retype the answer now again we go to the student area and we explore the course document so in the course document as i said there is a course manual i press it and i get to see the entire course manual here which i have to read before i could proceed further it's a complete booklet which you can read in your own time and your own space frequently asked question regarding the confined space it is well structured question where you can see all the answers available for the questions right you can read it like how how will osha says the space which is entered entirely open on one plane such as a pit is determined whether a space has limited or restricted means or entry or exit and the answer is given here so likewise there are questions which are frequently asked in confined space and you can go through each question which is very relevant before you could start working in a confined space and the most important aspect is the e learning once you press the e learning the e learning course will start if you have already started the e learning course it will ask you whether you want to resume from where you left i say no as of now so that we can see welcome to confined space entry training program now this e learning has a voice narration which is very easy to understand welcome to confined space training program when you get started you see the uh, module objectives which is going to be covered in the training 
enter your name here and say get started now your name appears here and this is your lesson plan there is a content there is a review and there is a exercise in this e-learning course of confined space there are four lesson lesson one what is confined space lesson two confined space has it lesson three work procedure for confined space and for job duties and emergency procedure if you click any of the button it will not start that means you have to start with the first content with the lesson one any other button if you press it won't work you start the lesson one and you say get started confined space entry confined space is a space that meets all three criteria large enough to enter and perform working has limited means of entry and exit is not designed for continuous human occupancy example of confined space tank pit silo tunnel well sewer underground utility ward now in this slide if you see this has a voice narration and this slide unless and until the voice narration and you have not completed the slide it will not go ahead so i never continued now i am going to require confined space a permit required confined space is one that contain you can control the volume from here if you see i am trying to press the continue button but it is not continuing or it will not go to the next slide unless and until you finish this slide now again i am going to increase the volume efficiency so tanks vessels wells are example of prcs even boiler reactors silo are the example of prcs entry occurs when your body breaks the plane so this is how you control the volume also you can control these are the notes again you can if you see there are certain notes written regarding this slide you can read it there is a grocery what a cs means is a confined space cps is a confined space permit hazard a hazard is a situation that possess a level of threat to life health property or environment so this kind of groceries and notes will be available it may be available in all the slides or it may not be available in all the slides here there is a resource here if you see if i press it it gives me a pdf where we have press resource we press the faq for the confined space and it appears here so again you see this is a downloadable for you you can download it for your own benefits and you can read it there are certain specific question which are answered here which will be utilized during the course and maybe the final test also you will be requiring this because the questions will be based on this only so you can save it on your desktop you can save it a copy i am going to press it now again press the resource and now when i press continue it will go to the third slide now in the third slide if you see there is a video so likewise in the e learning there will be videos which will be guiding you or explaining you how exactly accident happen and once the video is over now i press continue and now here if you see again there is a grocery and the notes are available but in the previous slide there was no grocery and notes now here are the things which you can read on your own there is no voice narration at certain slides there will be no voice narration so that you can interact and you can read on your own criteria to identify criteria for confined space example of confined space clearly mentioned i say next now if you see i have completed the course content but still i want to click anything else i will not be able to click now the second tab is available that is called review now i have to quickly read on my own about the review it is a summary press continue 
there is a review site unless and until you don't finish it won't continue there is a time limit for it and now there is an exercise which is available now uh, there is a quiz after every chapter there is a quiz so I give an answer I submit and my lesson one is completed I say continue there is a question uh, there is a tick mark that that means you have finished the lesson one now you can start the lesson two also if you want you can see how much time you have spent here if you want to stop here you can stop here and just simply close it next time when you visit again it will say you want to resume from where you left resume from where you left if you say yes then it will go to the second slide when you start the second lesson similarly again there will be voice over I have muted so that and if you complete the slide unless and until you don't finish it it won't go ahead and likewise you keep reading entire thing with the voice over with the interaction you can learn more I stop here again whenever I come next time it will show me from where I have left there is a question bank certain rules are written here I say re reset test and my this is a sample test so no need to worry this will not be counted in the final test so you can answer and it will give you the correct answer I am just answering without even reading the question you don't do that you just to understand how things work because even if my question is or my answer is wrong it is going to give me the correct answer so this is a practice test for you so that but I know maximum question which I have answered are wrong and then submit the test show your answer and it will show you the wrong answer and the correct answer this answer was correct and this was a wrong answer moment there is a wrong answer you get the correct explanation of it to every wrong answer there will be a correction so that you learn this is how you practice and you can practice it n number of times I again go back I again start my question and I say reset test moment to say reset test again it will start but once you start you don't have option to stop again here you just complete the test as much you can that's most important now I go to course document and then there is a final test once I start the final test it won't stop ok so I have already completed the test it won't let me restart the test as I have taken the test once the test can be taken the final test can be taken only once so that if you clear the test a certificate is issued to you this is how the e-learning works and this is how in the student area you see there is announcement that is what we have seen there is introduction regarding the course what is the offering in the course in the course document you press e-learning and you see the manual you see the frequently asked question you see the e-learning and the question bank and then there is a final test if you clear the final test a certificate will be issued to you in the certificate we have seen the certificate and this is how the certificate looks like I can go back I can see the competency after completing the course a competency will be assigned to me which is very important for me because once the competency is there your knowledge has increased or your score has increased you can work better there is a message any message is sent to you will appear here and these are the my courses tab which is very important I go back and if you see these are the three course which I have assigned to which I am enrolled to I can start any of the course anytime if you go to working at height it will be shown in the completed status because I have completed that course and this course only I have a certificate for working at height if you see working at height because I have completed that course and this is a certificate work at height course I again go back to my course this is a communication tab 
where you see there is a webinar on the safety culture which is scheduled on 14th Jan. You can say Mark has read. Women who say Mark has read, it is entered in the your red section. This is a course tab where you see all the courses. You can browse through all the courses. At any point of time, if you want to buy the course, you just have to say buy now and you say confirm there is a price attached to it. Women say you buy the course, now the course is available in the cart. If you see there is a course available in the shopping cart, you make the payment and the course will be appeared in the e-clive. The course will appear here. If it is a free course, you have to simply subscribe to it. This is your login credential. These are the two courses, total courses two, completed courses one, available certificate one. Even if you click on one, it will take you to the certificate tab. So again, I go to my course. This is the credit you have earned by completing the work at height course. Every course has a credit so that it appears here. These are the news. This is a webinar on safety culture which was there on the communication also but it's in the news panel also where at a glimpse you come to know what are the latest news available, what are the latest new webinars um, are organized for you all. And here is a insert a course code. If you have a course code, you can enter the course code from here and the course will appear here. This is the shortest way of activating any of the course if it is given to you. And as I said, this is a help desk. You can write for any query to your instructor and they will reply to you. This is how all about the e-learning and just simply press log out. You are logged out of the e-learning. Thank you.